Hi guys, I'm Farrah Brown and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good and I hope you guys are well. Quickly, before we get into the hair, because I know you guys are thinking, who's this? Yes, it's Farrah Brown <laughs> and she's a redhead. But before we get into the hair details, I just want to say if you are enjoying the content on this channel, please, please, please. Your homegirl said please, okay? Subscribe to this channel, comment down below as well, and also share this video with your family, your friends, and you know, your loved ones, your enemies, whoever, because we all need some positivity, right? Anyway, yes, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the FB gang. Welcome back to this channel and um, I'm just happy because I finally got my red hair and my hair was done by my home girl Priscilla's hair um, she's always been doing my hair now for the past well for the past year actually she's been doing my hair and um, yeah she's just amazing she's the honestly she's the sweetest person ever she's also the same person who did my um, curly wig which I get so many questions about it all the time so I'm going to leave all her contact details down below and um, yeah you guys should check her out as well so yeah I'll leave her Instagram account um, her email and everything and then yeah just go and show her some love I'm sure you will because this hair is slayed honey it is slayed and I look hot okay I look hot <laughs> um I picked up my camera because I just saw my camera and I was like you know what I can waste time a little bit and also record a video for you guys I'm actually doing a shoot guys so when I was in Nigeria I was inspired to do a shoot and I don't know what it is. Um, there was another YouTuber who I love, um, a girl called Cassie. Um, she's so amazing, she's so sweet as well and she's so kind, honestly, she encourages me so much. And um, I saw that she, of reason that she posted something, it's a flashback, a flashback Friday or a throwback Thursday, whichever one you wanna call it, but it was of her trip going back to Ghana because her husband, her lovely husband, is from Ghana and you know in that message in the caption sorry she was just talking about you know going back home just does something for you and I can totally identify with that you know she said that a new beginning started in her life and honestly I can really identify with that because when I went back to Nigeria it just did something for me like I came I became free I you know I stepped out of my comfort zone I was doing things that I wouldn't necessarily do and I was pushing myself and honestly to God I thank God for my beautiful beautiful sister Dami Lola I love her so much because I was there for a wedding, I was there for her wedding, but in the midst of her sorting out her wedding, she was like, nope, we've got to do this shoot, and that shoot really did something for me, and you know what, I've decided, you know what, I'm going to continue with this shoot, and continue to pursue my dreams, and step out my comfort zone, because at the end of the day, the comfort zone is very nice, it's a warm place, it's a cosy place to be in, but results are never birthed in comfort zones, it isn't you know, when you step out the box, right, when you step out of your comfort zone, you're pushing yourself, and yeah, you feel uncomfortable, but at the end of the day, you will only feel uncomfortable for a little while, you start to feel encouraged, and you start to see good things, and then when you see the good things, you push yourself even more, you know, so that's exactly what I'm doing today, so I'm doing a shoot, and I cannot for the life of me decide what shoe I want to wear. I've got a jumper and I've got another jumper dress that I want to shoot along with my um, jeans. I'm going to step. Yes, my jeans, my jeans. I honestly don't know what shoe I'm going to wear. And I'm, you know, I got, guys, I showed you this shoe. So I was thinking about this shoe, but I don't think it goes well with my jeans. Or I'm going to wear my comfy shoes, <laughs> even though they're comfortable. I just feel like, oh, this one. I feel like this one would go better more, but I'll just take both of them and see how it goes. But yeah, man, like, 
2018 is gonna be a lit year, you get me? And I'm really, and the only way 2018 can be a lit year for all of us or for myself is by us preparing now. And that means start now. Don't just wait till the 1st of January 2018 comes. Don't wait for that time to come. Start now, prep now, do what you need to do so that, you know, the lit year could be an easy ride. Do you understand what I'm saying? It don't has it doesn't have to you don't have to go through so many bumps and all of that stuff, you know, before you get that lit year. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say to you. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.